Welcome back to my new video. This is Motion Designer and in today's lesson, we're gonna learn how to replace any street signs with a custom animation. And for this example, we're gonna use this 2D animation to replace this sign. We're gonna use a planar tracker for this project. All right, so let's open up After Effects and let's get started. So here I have the footage. I'm gonna drag inside a new composition and let's go inside effects and presets and search for mocha and we're going to use mocha for ae which is inbuilt in after effects we're going to drag and drop it on the footage and right after that you can see here in the effects and controls i'm going to select this mocha icon and that will open up a new window of mocha this is the timeline here so make sure you place this timeline at the beginning of the frame all right i'll just use this explain tool let me just draw a rough selection on this right so let's draw it like this you don't have to be super precise on this we're gonna track this surface because we're gonna replace this bicycle with another you know with animation right so once you have drawn this area you can just hit this and it's gonna track forward so let's wait for a while so meanwhile let me introduce you to my course which is beyond premiere if you are new to after effects and want to learn some basic animation if you're new to after effects this course is for you you can check out the link will be there in the description down below all right so you can see if I scrub through the timeline, this is tracking perfectly, right? So let me just go to the beginning of the timeline. This is really important. Just pay attention to this. Make sure you set this time indicator at the beginning of the frame. And if you select this S, you can see a little square box just around the selection of the mask but we want this to be on the entire frame so let's just click on this little thing expand the planar surface so once you click on that you can see the blue line is all around the border of the frame right so after you are done with that you can just save this or control s and you can just close mocha and all right so let's rename this composition Control k as main comp and hit ok and let's select this footage and i'm going to duplicate this Control d to duplicate and i'm going to delete the mocha effect from that layer i'm going to delete that and i'm going to pre-compose this right Control shift and c and move all attributes and i can just call this i don't know cgi okay so hit OK and let's just go inside this by double clicking on the comp and here at the beginning of the frame right click time and I'm gonna freeze frame so I'm gonna save this file so go composition save frame as file and I'm gonna save it as a Photoshop file and I'm gonna go and maybe I'm gonna go inside the project file here. I'm gonna select, maybe you can just rename anything you want. Maybe I'm gonna CGI, hit save, and I'm gonna render that now. All right, so once you are done with that, let me just go and open that. All right, let's open up Photoshop and let me just open that inside photoshop and let me just unlock this so let's just remove this bicycle right so i'm going to use the generative ai from photoshop if you don't have a generative ai then you can just clone it manually you have a lot of tutorial online let me just select this and generate and just wait for a while let's go i'm just gonna wait for a while while this generate right all right so you can see here photoshop has done a very good job you have three variation you can choose from here i think i like the first one better and yeah once you have that you can just disable the bottom layer 
and Control S to save this. And let's go back to After Effects and let me just import the, let's just go ahead and import the Photoshop file that we have just saved. And I'm gonna just drag and drop it inside this. And you'll have this dialog box. You don't have to do anything, just hit OK. And I'm gonna drag and drop this on top of this. So you have the exact same thing like Photoshop, right? So once you have this, you can just place, you can just place anything here. So I'm gonna drag and drop this walk cycle animation. And we're gonna move, remove the background. So key light. I'm gonna drag and drop this on top of this. I'm gonna pick the color green so it removes it like that. And let me just go and select this pen behind tool. I'm gonna select this and put it somewhere here. And hit S to bring up this scale. Scale it down and reposition it somewhere here. Okay, so if you play back now, you have the animation. And what I'm gonna do is hit P, Shift and R to bring up the rotation. I'm gonna set that position. And I'm gonna go a few frames, maybe around here. Maybe go to the first frame and maybe I'm gonna start from here. Here, one second. I'm gonna move it somewhere somewhere here let's see well that's too fast maybe i'm gonna make it slow all right that's great so once it reach here maybe i'm gonna move it somewhere here and i'm gonna set a rotation at this keyframe set a keyframe for the rotation and move a few frames here and i'm gonna set this to 90 and maybe i'm gonna move the position of this down somewhere here and I'm gonna move it a little bit to the right side all right so if you have yeah that's maybe I'm gonna bring the keyframe of this rotation earlier so that it rotates like this that's nice maybe I'm gonna go and move this down even further and I'm gonna turn on the motion blur for the layer Let's see what we have. And this falls down. So if you have a motion blur, you have a very realistic fall there. All right. All right, that's good, but we have to mask this out, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new solid and I'm gonna rename this mask and I'm gonna shut off the eye for that for now and let's create a mask. Select the pen tool, let me just zoom in while selecting on the mask layer, solid layer we have just created. I'll just draw a mask around this, the inside part because I want this to come out from the blue background right so I'm gonna cut it like this somewhere here and all right so I go back this side and close that if you turn on the mask clear you can see the black background here Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask this out. So if you could toggle the switch here and select this track mat to the mask, if you play it back, nothing happens. Well, it's in the opposite of what we want. What I'm gonna do is click on this and that will mask it inside, right? All right, that's working now. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this layer, video layer, the walk cycle. And let me just offset it to here. Maybe the offset is too early. One, two, three. Duplicate this again. Well, I just hit, I just hit shift and page down twice. One, two, three. And duplicate this, move it over here and one two three i think that's fine all right if you play back now you can see that 
All right, that's very nice. And if you go back to the main composition, if you play it back, nothing happens because inside this CGI, you have this freeze layer. If you remember, we freeze this frame. So I'm gonna turn off this and we're just left with that, right? So if you go back to the main comp and if you scrub through the timeline, it's not working as it should be because we have not applied the tracking information on this layer. So what I'm gonna do to fix that is if I select the main footage, copy this, Control C to copy it, and I'm gonna paste it on that CGI layer, Control V to paste it, and I'm gonna go inside Matte and go to Tracking. If I generate tracking data, make sure you're at the first frame, right? This is very important. You just pay attention to this. You have to set this time indicator at the beginning of the frame. So create tracking data and corner pin support motion blur. And what I'm going to do, export layer to the CGI layer, which is this. So apply export right so if you play it back now you can see that that is that is looking very nice and the walk cycle animation is inside that signboard so if you pay attention here when the character falls right at the bottom here you have a sharp edge because this is being tied to this point and it's moving around to stick this you know uh, comb in this area so that's why these sharp edges are there right so to fix this you can just easily create a new composition using this main comb and I'm gonna drag it inside the new comb and I can just call this render Hit OK, and I'm gonna scale it down, scale it up to see here. So maybe I'm gonna scale it slightly, maybe 104, and that fixes that issue. That's how I fix this issue. I hope you learned something from this. You can add anything you can imagine here. I just give you an example using this walk cycle animation you can just add your own custom animation text animation whatever you can imagine you can just throw it inside this uh, cgi comp right if you haven't watched this video i highly suggest you go watch the video this is motion designer and i will see you in my next video take care